Okay, in this video I'm going to show you, give you a few tips about flying the underball. This one is the indoor version, if you like. Um, the one on the plants is basically with the uh, fin on the top as well. But I don't use it. Um, I did it for outdoor testing purposes, but I took it off because for indoor you don't need that. Um, well, what I mean by indoor is a room like this. Which is not very big. Um, if you're gonna sweep around and go fast or go outdoors, you need um, the extra surface on top. Um, a center of gravity uh, to fly indoors like this, you need a r rear word, a rear word. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Center of gravity, basically. Uh, so you can go nose high easily and fly comfortably um, on that nose up attitude. So the center of gravity on this one is basically there, um, which should be something like 30%. Um, So also, you need, well I need to fly it like this most of the time so it's flying slow and nose high so I can turn uh, and the model doesn't pick up enough speed to make it uncomfortable for me to fly in such a small room. So what I do is uh, I launch the model almost vertical uh, perhaps not maybe 80 degrees something like that and I'll show you now the reason for that is that when we do that then the model is beginning to fly on in that position uh, because if you throw it horizontally the model is gonna reach the end of the room very quickly and it's gonna hit something so we need to start hanging the model from the prop, if you like, fairly quickly and early on the flight, right from uh, as soon as you can, really, from the moment you, you let go of it. So I'm going to show you. Um, I'll put the camera here. I'm hoping that it will get a good angle. The light in this room is not brilliant for filming, but that's how. This is why you have to do it like this because the, the wall is there. If I don't throw a vertical, it will go to the wall or hit something very quickly. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. 
for now. Thank you. Thanks for watching.